Look, all you and I just talk about debt reduction. Venezuela played the most important role in reducing Jamaica's debt to GDP after them carried to 147% in 2012. And was forced on us by the impact of the global recession of 2008, the worst of its kind since the Great Depression 75 years earlier. To our credit, not one of our financial institutions went under, as happened in so many other parts of the world, but the effects on Jamaica were still severe. Foreign exchange earnings plummeted, exports shrunk, the bauxite industry virtually collapsed, tourism arrival declined, so did our revenue. Even remittances fell, as our benefactors in the diaspora were facing their own financial problems. Oil prices soared to a historic record of over $150 a barrel. It hasn't been back up there since. But I remember as Prime Minister sitting in Jamaica House when that news hit me. $150 a barrel. In order to keep the country going, the fiscal deficit that had plagued us for many years widened. We had to borrow excessively. And our public debt, which was already high, climbed to 148% of GDP. Ours is an open economy, extremely vulnerable to what happens in the rest of the world. In addition, the economy was frequently disrupted by natural disasters, hurricanes, severe drought one year, and devastating floods the next. Healthy economies have the reserve capacity to withstand these shocks and quickly recover. It's like the human body that has an immune system that springs into action when we contract a disease or suffer injury. Our country's immune system had long been compromised. Our macroeconomic situation for a long time had not had the resilience to withstand these shocks and their effects have persisted long after the events themselves. 